Go, bro. Just do it. Yeah, the lunch control suck, but damn! <laughs> <laughs> Today we have the 2024 Acura Integra Type S that we're excited to review for you and this is all possible thanks to Cardinelli Way of Acura and Mazda of Las Vegas, Nevada the information is down in the description make sure you check them out so let's dive into some details of the interior Then, we can pop back out and admire the exterior. And last but not least, we'll have some fun around town in that capable vehicle. Yeah, yeah, you sure, bro? Let's do it. Let's go. Starting off with the door panel, you cannot miss all the premium materials that they've been used again. There's some red leather with distinctive stitching. Uh, there is some aluminum around the ELS Studio 3D speaker system. There's pretty decent size uh, door pocket where you can fit your bottle of water and a few other stuff. Jumping inside, I want to show you the premium red leather on the seats, starting off with the Type S logo on the headrest, sliding down on the very soft Alcantara, wrapped around some more red leather, and the red leather continues towards my center body. Uh, it's all over around you. You can see the center console, the, the update that they've done versus the other Type S's is that they actually extended the exclusive leather on the passenger side, which actually I think it matches very nice. Looking at the air vents, they're pretty cool because they look like old school Nintendo joystick little little thingy. They feel pretty solid to the touch and very easy to adjust. I really like this, how they actually created it and designed it. Other than that, under the vents, of course, you have your climate controls for the driver and passenger. Uh, they have standard uh, heating seats, which is cool for the cooler regions. Under that, you have a couple ports like USB for charging and a C ports. You have 12 volt, 180 watt max. You have wireless charging for your phone. Obviously, I'm using it to charge my, my phone. And in front of that, th this is optional and you can actually add it. It's a titanium stick shift which actually brings you back to uh, the old school type R which uh, it used to to come like this standard this is pretty cool how they did it optional and you can have this old school of a feeling when you grab the, the stick shift distinctive type S logo around it more Alcantara of course around the stick shift you have all the buttons on the side for the individual uh, driving setup for dynamic modes and the, the electronic parking brake of course some cup holders a little bit of a space here for your wallet and a couple other stuff in the middle and the infotainment system which comes right from the middle uh, it looks kind of cool the thing that I like is that it actually is touchscreen you can basically pl play around uh, the thing that I've noticed is that the car doesn't really come with um, uh, with maps, with any navigation, but you can obviously use that uh, when you connect your phone. It's pretty responsive, pretty quick to the touch. I like it, small and compact. Why don't you come on my side and show you a couple of cool features on, on this side? All right, we're back on my side from the driver's perspective. A couple cool things over here. Uh, there's more Type S distinctive logos from the door panel. Automatic adjustment for the driver's seat, of course. If you've watched the previous video that we did on TLX Type S, I mentioned that they kept the aluminum footrest over here. As you see, this one doesn't have it. For some people it make difference, for others don't, but it's worth mentioning. So you know, um, 
This one on the driver's side, it doesn't have tons of options. It's just simply the traction control, you know, on and off. Just that button, which, you know, in this car, you will play a lot with it, I'm sure. Trust me, you need to drive it so you know. The first thing and of course, the thing that you're gonna most, the, the, you're gonna spend the most time with is the steering wheel, which is amazing to the touch because this one is Alcantara, which is optional. That's an upgrade from Acura. Other than that, comes with leather with distinctive stitching, but I love the Alcantara. It just really gives you that sporty of a feeling. And of course, on the other side of the steering wheel is the electronic cluster. You have a lot of all the information pretty much for the vehicle that you need. You can change the, the dynamic modes from comfort, which we're actually right, right in right now. Sport, Sport Plus, the cluster changes. And the thing that they really like is how the little needle becomes yellow and the whole cluster becomes reddish. It, that's like, uh, again, um, bringing you back to the old school original Japanese spirit of Type R Integra. You have all the information on the right side, including the PSI of the turbo, which is amazing. You can you can um, follow that at all times, see how the turbo is handling your uh, your abuse. You can see everything, the G-meters -meter, G on the right side. Also, you have some information that goes on on the left side, as far as like Bluetooth, uh, phone, customized display and so on and so forth feels really comfortable on my side but let's check real quick in the back all right we're in the back as you can see i made myself comfortable uh, my first impression is that this car is made for four people exactly to be comfortable and sitting in because this part in the middle is with uh, cup holders and it's kind of a little uh, harder than the other ones so it's not really meant for somebody to sit on uh, I have enough leg and hip space and actually the the headroom is acceptable for me for the design actually they decided to go with uh, it's comfortable in the back you have enough space in general the other thing I can notice is there's no um, back seat pocket on the driver's seat but there is one on the passenger side which is interesting another thing that i've noticed and it's a little bit disappointing is that this car doesn't have a vents here in the back so if you need to cool yourself off most likely you have to open the window or maybe crack the back door a little bit but other than this it's pretty comfortable and feels luxurious man i'm so excited about this integral type s man I don't know if you can tell by my face, but you know what? I'm going to put my excitement on the side and just go over the front. And what do you see over here? Look at that aggressive monster. Just look at it. It's so wide. It's actually three inches wider than the Integra A-Spec. And that's because the white body, which looks so sick. Anyway, let's start from the front. You can't miss the beautiful LED headlights with the chicane daytime running lights. And right, right under the, the headlights, you have the Integra name engraved in the front bumper. And it's engraved in the rear bumper too, but we're going to go in detail in a little bit. Right under the Integra name, you have functional brake ducts. And really interesting and cool thing is you have actually gun arts right inside. If you look closely in the grill, it's over there. And those canards usually they put outside of the vehicle, but Acura put it inside and they hit them and they still do the same the same thing like they do outside they provide more air to cool off the brakes and put the power down the road better moving right next to it you can miss the beautiful front lip it's white and right above the lip you have the huge inner cooler to cool off the engine but more than a little bit about the power of that monster and right above the inner cooler you can miss the distinctive diamond shaped grille which is exclusively made for the type s you can see the same design of grille of the mdx type s and the tlx type s which we reviewed both cars so you can check those videos out too and this actually grille provides 170 percent more air to call off the engine which is amazing you can miss that glossy black emblem which light glows at night which is pretty cool moving on the top there's your hood and you have a hood vent 
functional hood vent to cool off the engine. But you know what? Let's pop the hood and see the soul in the Integra Type S. Oh, see? You need the stick again. Come on, man. There you have it, folks. A four-cylinder, 2.0-liter turbocharged engine producing 320 horsepower with 310 feet-pound of torque paired with a six-speed manual and the Integra Type S only comes in a manual so if you can't drive manual be able to learn before you buy that car and something really cool and exclusive for the Integra Type S is the engine cover the carbon fiber engine cover and the red color is the same red color as the NSX Type S which is pretty cool and unique for that car let's move on on the side and see the whiteness and the thickness of the Integra Type S just look just look how wide this car is. It's so unique. The front fender, it's custom made for the Integra Type S specifically. And you can see the fender flares, they engraved in the, bump, in the front panel, which is only for the Integra Type S. Type S badge right here. And a cool feature is the 19 inch wheels and plus the Brembo brakes, red calipers, and Acura logo right over here. Moving on on the side of the vehicle, you cannot miss the carbon fiber mirrors. Also, the custom and specifically made for the Integra Type S rocker panels. You're not gonna see them on any Integra model anywhere, only the Type S. And I wanna point something cool too. See how the, on the rear bumper, the fender flare it's engraved with the bumper here on that panel. It's not. I could have put it over here because that whole piece and on the door too, because that whole piece right over here, it's one piece. So they just put it there, but hey, it's a wide body style. It's aggressive. It looks awesome. Let's move on on the rear of the vehicle. You have that beautiful carbon fiber trunk spoiler which is just an add-on from Acura usually the Integra Type S comes with a spoiler but that's a bigger cooler spoiler made of carbon fiber when you come down you see the Type S badge once again and you cannot miss the aggressive look of the rear black diffuser look how nice it looks so nice and aggressive and when you drop down you can't miss the triple exhaust, which sounds awesome. Now that you hear how cool the exhaust sounds, which I want to point out that the Integra Type S doesn't have rear resonators, so you can hear the pops and bangs and sounds really aggressive. But let's pop the trunk, see how much space you got. And Hatchback practicality, baby. You can be that. Fold down the seats. You can put your bed that you bought from Costco <laughs> inside. Plenty of space for all your gear. Like you can see, our gear is over there. But old-fashioned closing. Go, bro. Just do it. Ooh. Yeah, the lunch control suck, but damn. <laughs> <laughs> ah, no, that's an Integra Type S. <laughs> and that's how you know the car is perfect for you when it puts a smile on your face. <laughs> you mean a big smile on my face? <laughs> Damn, man, that felt really good. Gears go in and out like knife in the butter. Really nice. <laughs> Holy <laughs> damn, dude. Oh, wow. Hold 
dude, look how I grabbed the stuff, man. Like, I'm like, it's like, a, it's, I'm like in an airplane. And yeah, like an airplane. Dude, you feel the boost, dude? Wow. It runs, it runs, it goes. Once you step on it, you just want to kind of eat the pavement. You hear the little burbles? Oh, and burn. pops and bangs, too. Mm -hmm. That's because, remember I mentioned that uh, the exhaust doesn't have resonators in the back. Yeah, which comes stock. That's very nice. They did it stock, I mean, from, actually, from Acura. Yeah, so that's that's a pretty cool upgrade that a lot of people, you know, should be happy about. And, I mean, I really like how the when you change the modes, like the illumination of the screen, like every single picture from Comfort to Sport to Sport Plus. And they, you have individual. Oh, dude, the car, the car looks so cool, man, on the visual Probably mode. The, the visual picture on the little display looks way cooler than the other ones. Yeah, well, for once some you press reason. individual, yeah? Yeah, for some reason. You're right. You can see some parts from the car, like the engine, like the brakes, like it's very nice. I like how the car actually looks from the outside too. All the body lines, those uh, rocker panels. Yeah, rocker panels on the side. And the flared fenders. The flared fl fenders, yeah, they look really nice as well. They look so light and sexy, bro. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Carbon fiber on the side mirrors. Uh, the whole black, glossy black diffuser in the back looks cool, but in my opinion, probably for this one, if they implemented the carbon fiber one instead, could have looked way more sportier. And, I 100% yeah, right? agree, dude. And when you match it with the trunk carbon fiber spoiler, that is going to look really sick. Oh, yeah. Punch it, dude. Have fun with this, man. Oh, that matching. Oh, damn, dude. <laughs> dude, every time you do that, I love it. The feeling is pretty cool. But I want to go in the back, see how it feels when you do that in the back. Let's do it, brother. Let's go. Dude, the exhaust in the back sounds so Did cool. you hear that? Man, I heard that. <laughs> the little burps. I heard that. That was awesome, man. In the back, you have enough room for two people. This thing in the middle is kind of annoying that Oh yeah, let me see. Cannot sit oh, you got the cup holders here too. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not comfortable. Oh, I don't have. Like you said, you don't have vents, so all you gotta do is just do that. <laughs> so you Open cool the window off. so you can cool off. But Vegas yeah. now is hot, so I'm gonna close Man. it. Huh. Yeah. Oh, cool off on the 115 outside. I want to show this shirt. <laughs> thanks to. <laughs> You're right. So thanks to Cardinal Acura Mazda in Las Vegas, they gave us a cool shirt with Integra Type S. Right over here. And you know what? I'll put it on. <laughs> hey, hey, think fast, bro. You take our tight pass. That's what's up. Looks cool, huh? Yeah, that's a cool shirt, man. So it's uh, comfortable in the back? Oh, yeah, bro. I, I love it. Oh! <laughs> Hello, Morowski. <laughs> Why, you, dude? You know what? He gets me every single we, time, we man. We have to check on the brakes, brother. The Brembo they work brakes, right, right? The Acura logo. I had to, you know, test them. <sighs> That's my third bra. I'm like a little kid, dude. So cool, man. Right over hmm. here. What are you doing? What's up? Well, there's no electrical adjustment on my seats. It's just. Oh, it's manual, it's huh? It's manual, yeah. I was looking to move my seat, but yeah. Oh. Apparently, it's manual. Hey, it's more oriented to the driver, bro. Uh, I guess so. Yeah, I love I'll it. I'll live without it. I know you will. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm going to put it on Sport Plus, dude. I like the burbles. I'm going to give it a little push right over here. <laughs> yeah. ah, how does it feel, man? It definitely puts a smile on the face. Yeah. Dude, it's a fun on car. On your face. Mm. Right there. Bam. <laughs> and the rev matching is pretty cool, man. When you downshift, you don't have to play with a gas and a clutch too much. Dude, Sport Plus is so fun. 
right opens up the exhaust the gears uh, the transmission is like feels really good after that the steering wheel gets a little bit stiffer so basically it's more sportier of a feeling yeah and when you drive your kids in school you know you drop off your wife at work and when you're alone then then all the fun begins you flip it a sport plus transmission gets stiffer the, the gears go in smoother and we grab the Alcantara steering wheel you go crazy in the city man <laughs> <laughs> yeah that's all about luxury plus plus comfort actually Acura they've managed to blend this synchronize it very well in my opinion yeah yeah and you're saving the manuals props to that oh yeah yeah which the fact is that this one comes only in manual transmission. This way you can excel the relationship between you and the car. You have a better feeling for the gears, for the, for the changing of the gears, for the car in general. Dude, I got goosebumps, man. The way you said it, damn, man. I wouldn't put it a better way, bro. Damn, I love it. I got nothing to say no more, okay? That, that's the that's truth, it. that's the truth. That's, true. That's crazy, man. I mean, yeah, that, that, that was beautiful. It's like a poem, bro. But the way it looks, performs, and feels is A+. And the head-up display is pretty cool. It shows you what's the speed limit on the street you couldn't get on, and it's right there, right in front of you. That's pretty dope. Does this car give you pleasure, my friend? <laughs> <laughs> I think that summarized everything. Was that the right question? Hell yeah, bro. Hey, you got fun, dude? Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> Once again, we've reached the end of our video. Hopefully, it will be really helpful in the process to you. And you share some laughs with us, too. And if you like our video, don't forget to kick the like button and the teeth just a little bit so it won't hurt too much. Subscribe to our channel, too. And as always, we're we going to see you on the next one. one. Let's go, bro. Let's go, dude. Yeah.